Hi, many have heard that in Norway there is an Atlantic road that passes through the sea. But not everyone can include it in their plan, since it is located quite far away from main roads and attractions. In this video we will figure out why it is so good and whether it has more affordable alternatives. The Atlantic road is located on the west coast of Norway. The length of the sea part is 6 km and 600 meters. There are places for stops with viewing platforms on the road and it is included in the list of tourist roads of the country. And of course, everyone knows the visiting card of the road, Stuscheisson Brewer Bridge. But strangely enough, many are disappointed having made a big detour to the west of Norway and spending a lot of time just for the Atlantic road. Unjustified expectations are to blame for the drone photos and exceptionally correct angles of the bridge, which are so many on the internet, but in reality it is difficult to observe them. In reality, the passage on the bridge looks like this. And driving along beautiful sections of the road is so. Well, you can't stop everywhere. Special parking laws have been made for tourists, which by the way are quite densely packed during the season, due to the popularity of this place. And this can be a problem for travelers with a caravan. It is also noticeable on the map that the road is far from the main cities, so you will have to plan a separate trip to visit it. And of course, it is worth mentioning the weather of the western coast of Norway. It is often overcast or rainy, as you can see in the statistics. Oh no. But few people know that the Atlantic Road has a younger sister and it is located just 20 km away from the E6 highway in the Oslo fjord. This is road number 108 from the city of Fredrikstad to the Valer Islands. It starts from two beautiful bridges and goes across the sea along the islands, exactly like the Atlantic Road. The length of the sea part is 2 km and 800 meters. A big and pleasant bonus of the road 108 is the pedestrian promenade along the entire sea road. So you can park your car and go for a pleasant walk. By the way, the bridge has also good angles, but in addition a stunning view opens up when you drive along the bridge itself. And in sunny weather you can even see the other side of the Oslo fjord. Driving along the beautiful parts of the road looks like this. In general, not inferior to the views from the Atlantic road. Wow. Another bonus of the road to the Valer is its lack of popularity among tourists. So this means the availability of free parking and the absence of crowds. The weather is also an important factor. In the southeast of the country there is much less rain, as can be seen from the statistics. And of course, the presence of a large and vibrant city of Fredrikstad with a cozy old town, which you can visit while driving right through it, can also be attributed to the pluses of the road 108. On the other side of the road lays the Valer Marine Archipelago which the Norwegians call the summer paradise because it's a really sunny, warm and there are many beaches for every taste. Now let's compare these two roads. Both roads look attractive from the above. Both roads have unusual and beautiful bridges. Road 108 has a long promenade, but the Atlantic road has viewpoints for tourists, so both deserve a star. By the length, the Atlantic road has an advantage, but if you look at the current weather forecast and the rain statistics, the road number 108 wins in terms of weather. The presence of the ocean is a definite star in the piggy bank of the Atlantic road. But in terms of the number of tourists, road 108 wins. But the Atlantic road definitely gets a star for its trophies. Norwegian construction of the century in 2005 and world best road trip by The Guardian in 2006. But nevertheless, according to one of the main parameters, convenience to visit or let's call it along the way, road number 108 will win. 
Of course, both roads are wonderful and worthy of attention. And in this video, we wanted to show that there are alternatives to some of the tourist places, which allows you to plan your road more flexibly. And discover Norway from new angles. Hope we succeeded. So subscribe to our channel and let's travel together. And see you again.